and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what... Ah, you already know what popped up in theaters this week. Star Wars! <laughs> Christmas came early, people. We've got a new Star Wars movie, and it doesn't suck. Not only does it not suck, it's well-paced, filled with intriguing and lovable characters, and it is exciting and awe-inspiring from its very first frame. Now, this review will be less specific than most because I strive to remain spoiler-free in my reviews. But in the case of Star Wars, well, you'd be surprised what some people out there will call a spoiler. So I'll be even more reserved. I'll do my best to describe the movie accurately without ruining any surprises. Deal? Deal. Okay. But to sum up before we get in depth, all right, we're not really getting in depth at all, but to sum up, Star Wars The Force Awakens is not a perfect movie. Heck, Return of the Jedi wasn't a perfect movie either, but it is rollicking, rocking entertainment, which provides everything it has to provide in order to satisfy fans, and then some. You will fall in love with the new characters, and visiting the old characters will give you <sighs> the feels in a big and major way. I lost track of how many times I was on the edge of my seat in suspense or giddy with a massive geek boner over some plot revelation or some character moment between two people. If you love Star Wars, The Force Awakens will give you an emotional workout. You will recommit yourself to the series and greet every new Star Wars from here on out with the same impatient, excited optimism. Yeah! My one gripe. And this is something that makes this a less than perfect movie. It, it's what makes this movie a large bag of popcorn instead of an extra large. That's right, I'm telling you up front what my rating is. Forget convention on this review. This is a party, baby! Here's my one gripe. Star Wars The Force Awakens is a little too concerned with fan service. I know, what you say? Fan service? Hey, if there's any group that's most in need of a good servicing, it's Star Wars fans, right? Get your head out of the gutter. After seeing their beloved trilogy messed with and retooled and retinkered and soiled with messy CGI graffiti, after sitting through the release of three virtually unwatchable prequels which tried the patience and loyalty of even the most devout Padawans out there, you can tell that Lucasfilm and their new parent company, Disney, wanted to make this first chapter in the next wave of films a gigantic sloppy wet kiss to the fans. Mwah! Give them everything they want. Everything that we love. Even to the point of pandering. Even to the point of countless Easter eggs and callbacks. But they didn't stop there. To play it completely safe, thematic, plot, location, and character elements seem to have been almost completely lifted from the previous movies, especially the original, A New Hope. It's enough to make the Enterprise feel like an actual reboot of Star Wars instead of a straight ahead sequel. The cynical amongst you, and after the franchise's checkered past, there are many of you, they may find this an unforgivable act of unoriginality. Well, get over it. It's fine. Forget the rip-offs from the previous trilogy and simply marvel at the course correction. I mean, Han Solo is back. And I don't mean some grumpy old man who kinda resembles Han Solo. By God, Harrison Ford has created a real-life version of the charming scoundrel we all love 30 years after Return of the Jedi. And he's alive again. Anyone upset that Han Solo shot Greedo in self-defense in the special editions? Well, here Han Solo throws a man directly into the mouth of a ravenous alien creature. And he does it with no hesitation. Boom! Han Solo, everyone! Welcome back! Seeing Leia and Luke, R2-D2 and C-3PO, Chewbacca, oh man, Chewbacca, look, the magic is back. These guys still know how to play them. Larry Kasdan still knows how to write them. And I know that Kasdan, one of the writers of Empire Strikes Back, was only one of several credited writers on The Force Awakens, but I'm saying the pedigree is there, and the band still knows how to play the hits. Now, in addition to the veterans, there are also several new characters, all of them fresh, all of them fun, all of them well played. To say more would be a spoiler, but you will love the hell out of Rey. You will feel for and laugh along with Finn, and you will cheer for Poe Dameron. And you will love to hate Kylo Ren and want to get to know him better. All these characters are well acted and fascinating. 
Well, there is that Captain Phasma. She gets the Boba Fett treatment. She's really cool looking. She'll make an awesome looking toy, but she's kind of wasted. And I hope we see more of her in the future Star Wars films. And well, you look at that. Our heroes are a woman, a black man, and a man of Latin descent. I applaud the diversity, but more so, I applaud it because it doesn't feel like it was done for reasons of political correctness. It just naturally occurs and it just feels right. The whole thing feels right. The look of the movie, the aged future. I could go on all day about the sure-footed pacing, the excited revelations, and several moments that will make you cry or cheer or stand with your mouth agape. <gasps> I could also nitpick certain things that I found a little odd, like how multiple people with no training, not so much as a fencing lesson, could just pick up a lightsaber and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with evil because, you know, we Star Wars fans are good at splitting hairs, aren't we? But I won't. Just see it. It's here. It was worth the wait, and you won't have to wait long for the next one. A new age is upon us, people. The age when Star Wars is not just something beloved from our past, but something that will continue to surprise, enlighten, and entertain us well into the future. Large bag of popcorn. Go out and experience the awakening for yourself. It's a great movie, to be sure. And if you haven't seen any Star Wars movies before, well, then you won't notice the elements that were stolen from the previous films, and this movie might just blow your mind that much more completely. But if you love Star Wars, even if you find The Force Awakens overly familiar, you will not have a more thrilling experience in a theater this year. J.J. Abrams, you did it. I thank you, and I salute you. That does it for Movies That Pop. Don't forget to click the thumbs up icon to indicate your approval, and please subscribe Click right down there and subscribe to this channel so you'll never miss a review. We'll be back soon with more reviews of all the latest movies. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and may the Force be with you. Yeah!